Welcome back to the land of working hard all the time to never actually get anything done. So, under that blue tarp, I finally got an engine for this thing. In the meantime, I've been working on the frame, grinding and painting it, and oh my god, does it look super nice. Thing is clean as fuck now. So I finally picked up this engine here. Now it's not built right now. The deal with this is I was mad originally because I got the engine. The guy said it was newly rebuilt. Well, it wasn't. When I got it, I took the valve covers off. The heads were full of rust. And then I took the heads off and the bores were just fucked. It's not as bad as that one, but it's uh, not definitely not rebuilt at all. And I eventually got it out of them later on. It had 100000 on it, which... Because IDIs and their uh, cylinders are shit, things got quite a bit of wear to it. So we're going to do a partial rebuild on that. I've been waiting on a bunch of parts, and I got the heads back from the machine shop all cleaned up, looking nice and shiny. So we're going to lift this thing up. We're going to take all the pistons out. We're going to run a hole through the bores and put some new rings on it. And then rob whatever parts we need to get it running off of that. Now the nice thing here is that even though this block is not the greatest, it's got a big cam, I got big injectors, a big pump, and head studs for this, which are all things that I really wanted that would have cost a lot more separately. So, boy, is it goddamn hot out here, fucking summer. I got the old forky fuck over here because I was moving some boulders. So let's get this started and get it over there and see if I can make this corner without getting stuck again. All right, it's probably about 80, so things shouldn't be too grumpy about getting going. Oh yeah! Let's try and make this turn. Gonna love no power steering. On, you fuck. All right, let's get a good look at the thing. Look at me being all responsible, actually taping the decks up this time. So what I'm gonna try and do is get the forks under the sides here, pick it up by the mounts, so I can have access to under it and everything. All right, got it picked up and moved. So let's take the tape off the decks and I'll show you what's up with the bores. So if you notice, uh, there is, come on now, absolutely zero crosshatch in these bores. They look absolutely terrible. So here's the other side. It's just as bad if this will focus. No crosshatches of any fucking kind. And there's a, uh, come on camera. Bit of a ring ridge. Not the worst, but not the best. I will give the guy credit though. At least he did what he said he did and did grease everything so no rust would happen. He did do that with the crank too, thankfully. So I'm just gonna hope that the rod bearings are good because that's one of the things I didn't order for this engine was rod bearings. Unfortunately, I'm on a bit, bit of a budget so I can't do everything that I wanted to with this thing. 
But he, cre he greased under here too. So nothing here is rusted. It's fucking great. So let's take these rods out and see how bad we're doing here. Credit. Please do not do what I'm doing and stand under the engine like this. That's just an awful idea. But I trust this forklift. Boy, that's a sentence. All right, there's piston number one. Let's see how everything looks in there. Well, the rod bearing's fucking mint. Good, because I didn't buy those. So, piston's in all right shape. Just, uh... Put some new rings in that, and then hone the cylinders out, and we'll be nice and good. Craig's good too, so good, nothing severely bad. All right, so taping up your crank like that's real important because when you're honing these cylinders out, it's going to make some really fine dust that you do not want getting on things because that'll grind it away to nothing in no time. So another thing is make sure you clean up properly afterwards, which we will do. So I got the honing oil and I got the old flex hone here. Big thing to note, use this type, not those stupid freaking three stone straight ones that every auto parts store sells those are garbage they don't make it completely round they take off too much material they tend to chatter and especially tend to fold up once you get near the end there not good these these will be nice and even which is what you want you don't want to take off too much but you want to get a good nice 45 degree cross hatch so don't spin it too fast and don't push it up and down too fast Look at that now. Much, much better. So now that'll give it a nice surface for the new rings to seat on. Come on, camera. Perfect. Took a bit of the ring ridge down too, good. All right, so now we gotta clean up these greasy pistons. Clean those up, and then I gotta run some brake clean through here, and really clean those bores out, get all that dust out of there. So make sure we don't have anything grinding the thing away again when we start it back up. Well, that's gonna put a damper on things for right now. I was really hoping to get this thing finished today. I got the pistons cleaned up, and I replaced the rings. I got all the old ones in here. And of course, 
They only sent seven top rings. For fuck's sake, man. Missing one top ring. I'm gonna call and try and get that last one. Meanwhile now, gotta tape this all back up until I can get it. Fuck. It was all going so good.